Uh, so it's quite windy at the minute. Um, it's supposed to be quite mild at the minute until about three, four o'clock in the morning. And then storm, some Spanish name, it's supposed to take off. Uh, I'm hoping I can just miss it, but just with these winds, with my first solo wild camp, I'm a little bit uh, etchy about it, you know. Uh, you can see the water here, it's overflowing. A little bit nervous about my first wild camp. Uh, I'm the type of person, if I'm the last one to go to bed and have to turn all the lights off, I'm the one who sprints to the bedroom. <laughs> so I think tonight's going to be fun and games. It's going to be uh, Michael Myers and Hit the Clowns standing outside my tent with knives shouting, Come out to play. <laughs> uh, and I'm not coming out. I'm going home. <laughs> Hi, so it's it's the same route I did the other week um, with this thick snow. I chose this one just because I know it a little bit better, you know. Um, it's quite an easy uh, track to go up. It's not too bad. Bag weighs a ton. I think I might overload it with a uh, warm gear, but plan for the worst. Hope for the best. Ah, so I was debating what type of camp to do. It was between um, down at the Lock Lock Shannon or Shanna. I've got to learn these words. Um, or the summit, or even a wood woodland camp. But. Uh, I thought with all of them we've had the last week or so, I think uh, Loch Shanna would be uh, quite boggy. So I thought maybe it's camp high, you know, camp up at the summit. But, and then I find out today there's a storm coming. <laughs> so, but I've been itching, itching to get out with this tent. I'm using the helm too. I was debating whether I used the Zephros 1, but I think with all this uh, yeah I've got, I prefer to have the hub too for this one, a short hike, a bit more comfort. Uh, just watched a video yesterday on YouTube, someone with the helm too in the storm last week. And the it was blown all over the place. So it doesn't make things any better for us. Right, so Ah, it's been lashing down all day at work and everything. It's just panicking and then it's turned out really nice. Sun's out. I'm going to be heading up there somewhere, I think. Uh, looks nice at the minute. But you know what they say, the calm before the storm. I just want to do a shout out for my mate Dave. Um, had trouble this week or last week with YouTube. Didn't know what was going on with it. Uh, couldn't see half of my videos and he just told us straight away and got sorted. So, cheers for that. He's got a great channel. Exploring with Dave Alcenda. Um, all abandoned places, some listed buildings, some old hotels. He's got some really good stuff on camera as well. So he'd be worth che definitely checking out if you're into that sort of thing. But, oh, it's nice in the minute, look. Yeah, I'm just coming up to the PD area. Every time I hit this end, I end up losing a leg. <laughs> really bad, really marshy. So I'm hoping I don't have to come back through the night because this is the way I'll be coming down, I think. Uh, it's, some of it's quite uh, 
it's deep and deep. So I've been wondering what people's uh, favourite camps are. If you can leave us a message, uh, let us know. Would it be a coastal camp, a summit camp, or would it be a woodland camp? Or would you just prefer to do miles and then uh, just camp anywhere, as long as it's sensible? Uh, I've always been interested. I'm not too sure what I prefer at the minute. I like the summit for the heights and I like the co coastal for the views as well. Uh, woodland, it's nice to just sit around, it's cosy, you know. Uh, I think a good thing about summits and uh, ones with distance, it's just a bit of an achievement as well, you know. After you've done all the miles, you can just sit back and relax, have a well-earned well drink. Ugh. I tell you what, I was up here the other week uh, But see when you've got a camp pack on your back It's a totally different story <laughs> Definitely feel it a lot more like Definitely think about too much But like I say, it's my first solo winter camp So I just wanted to prepare for everything once I've done it a few times, then I know I'm not needing as much, or I'll need a little boat, a bit more. Or I'll never do it again. <laughs> Very boggy up here as well. Look at the views. Clouds are looking a little bit menacing up there, but should be alright. The majority. <laughs> Ah, so hopefully I'll find a good pitch um, Set up Maybe show you my uh, kits I'm using Some new stuff uh, Most of it's just budget like But I might do the trick for now Until I get some more experience um, Got a hip flask Full of slow gin Not too much Just enough to Pretend there's nothing outside trying to kill us. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, makes it all worth, doesn't it? Look, last views. Hopefully, we can in the morning. Well, I'm having my coffee and my breakfast. Kind of look at all that, you know. I think I'm going to have to cut my losses Every part of 
part of the wall, it's just blowing you all over the place. The storm hasn't even started yet. Uh, I don't think I'm going to take the chance. So, I back down and go. Maybe in a couple of weeks' time, eh? Just going to throw the towel in. It's getting blown everywhere up there. On every side of that wall. Uh, the storm hasn't even started yet, so there's no no point. No point. That would be first time doing a solo camp. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, a bit more experience in this bevies. Aye. So back home, have a paint. I was thinking about it again there, but then gusts to just pick straight back up. Uh, I'll just leave it, leave it till it says. Don't mind it being windy. It's just the fact there's a back uh, thought of the storm coming, you know. So I'm thinking if it's just windy now, what's the storm going to be like? <laughs> Well, if anything, at least that's a, another summit off my list. Uh, so I've done Shanna twice, Mel Moor, Melbeg, and then Con. Uh, Binion as well. Yeah. So, just shame I couldn't come it. The wind stops for a second right now. And I start changing my mind, thinking that oh, might be all right, but uh, and then the gust is coming, goes Whoa. so looks like uh, Michael Myers and hit the clown. I'll have to wait for us for another day. <laughs> it's starting to get dark now. Absolutely gutted. Uh, I just don't want to take any chances up there, you know. Like I say, if I didn't see there was a storm on, I'd probably, I'd probably be alright with that wind because I knew it wasn't going to get any worse. But just I thought, wait, look at that, the storm hasn't even been here yet, and uh, it's already blown us all over. So I don't know, a couple of weeks time maybe. Hey, right, well, the wife just tagged us in something on Facebook. It's, now it's red warnings uh, for the storm. So it makes us feel a little bit better about chucking the towel in. Good, absolutely good. Been dying to get out for weeks. Um, but I suppose if I stayed up here and it went really wrong, you know, I could put you off air. Uh, Doing this permanently. <laughs> ah, so the wipe was on the phone there. Uh, she said, "I knew, I knew you'd be back." <laughs> ah, when she said that, I felt like just uh, stopping here just just for the sake of her seeing that, you know. Uh, but oh well, you know what I mean? I just don't want to take a chance with the storm when it was blowy to start with. I was hoping to get a bit of a shelter up there, you know, like a, but every angle of the wall, it was just blowing a gale, so I, oh well. Right, I'm about 15 minutes away from the car, so Cheers for watching. Um, I'll definitely be out in a couple of weeks. No warnings of storms. If it's windy or not, the tent's going up. Uh, still looking forward to doing a bit of a solo wild camp to check out my uh, winter stuff. But it was just just because it said there was warnings for storms. It's, it was just in the back of my head, you know. So if it's windy next time and it doesn't see anything about storms, I'm not bored. I'm staying here. Cheers for watching.